Hey guys, it's Kronos, and today's video is by Oni Zombies. He and his team found out and completed the full Easter egg on Buried. Now, definitely go subscribe to Oni's channel, guys. His link will be in the description below because he was one of the first people to find out and do a tutorial video for the Easter egg on Buried. So, the link's in the description to his channel, guys. Go subscribe. And now, here's the Easter egg. Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Oni, and today I have another video for you guys, and this video is the buried Easter egg. This is Maxis's side. Uh, we were trying to do Richtofen's side, but it was so freaking hard. We got stumped on one step, and we just had no clue what to do. So this is the first time we tried Maxis, and we successfully did it. So I'm going to upload a video on how to do it. And yeah, so I'm going to get right into it. Step one is to build the noose. The four parts are located in the barn, the church, above the jail, and inside the bank. Or it's somewhere near the bank. I'm not really sure about that one. But it's all the four parts are there. I really don't know the names of them. I think the one's like a wire, a battery, uh, a satellite or antenna, some sort of looking thing. And uh, so yeah, that's step one. You want to build that. It's right near the fountain or the church by there. And step two is to power up the orbs and destroy them. You will need the paralyzer, the turbine, and that super sonic looking thing that makes it go boosh and boosh. And, uh, so what you want to do is you want to go find all four of the orbs, power them up just like I do right here. And see I'm flying all the way over there just to get to that orb. I'm so excited. And then what you want to do is you want to power up the orb with the paralyzer. And once you do that, as you can see, you want to place the turbine in that super sonic thing, and then it'll destroy the orb just like that. And then that is number one of them. I think this is, yeah, this is located right next to the saloon. It's by the guillotine. So, yeah, it's by the guillotine. It's located next to the bar, just like that. And then the next one is located in the mines, as you can see, where I'm going right now. You want to charge that one up, place your turbine, place your supersonic thing, and destroy the fuck out of that one. Just like that. Okay. And then the third one is located right next to the church, just like that. Okay, there it is. I can see I'm flying again, because this gun is so fun just to use when you're flying. You want to charge that one up, and then once again... Place your supersonic thing and your turbine, and then blow it up just like that. You could charge all the orbs and then go and then destroy them, but I just charged them up and then destroyed them, so we didn't have to go all the way around again. So we just had it in one try, and yeah. So the last orb is located in this hellhole house behind it, located behind the hellhole house, or the mansion, or the hell you like to call it. As you can see, I just, me and my friend were pushing over the the fence right there. So you want to go through this mansion, and then when you get to the back of the mansion, you will see the last and final orb, just like that. I'm going to charge it up. You want to place your supersonic thing and your turbine just like us. As you can see, I picked it up a little bit too early, and he thought it was done, so then he picked his up, and then we had to go and place it again. So once you do that, you want to place it down, destroy it, and that's it. So step three is to go and pick up a lantern. Once you do that, Maxis will talk to you about some light flying around. And I can see right here, go with that little jump, throw that grenade right there. Once you pick up the lantern, you will need to go and charge it with the the big tall guy. I think his name is Sloth or Leroy. I don't know what his name is, but a lot of people like to call him Leroy or Larry. I don't know what it is. But you need to charge it by giving him candy and standing near him when he attacks zombies or kills them. And you can easily do this on any round because we did this on round two. Maybe be able to do it on round one if you don't kill any zombies when you're coming down and going to your bank and getting all that stuff. So once you have enough kills, you need to go and craft the lantern on top of the gunsmith. And as you can see right there, there's a code that you need to decode. But... No one really likes to do that, so we're just going to do process of elimination. Step 6 requires you to go and get Galvin Knuckles to Galvin Knuckle the signs. There are five signs located all across the mine shaft. The first one is called Bones, or this last one is called Bones. I'm going the opposite way right now. 
the last one is called Bones, the second to last one is called uh, Ground, and the third to last one, or the third one, is Crosses, the second one is Undermines, the first one is The Dry Shaft, I'm pretty sure that's what it's called, I don't remember all the names, I just remember bitter parts of the name. I'm pretty sure the undermines is right over here to the left. Just yeah, there it is, right there. Let's see. I aim in, look at it, all right, and then the last one is dry shaft, which is located at the top, not the one by Speed Cola. That's the end. The one, the sign at the at Speed Cola is the end. So I can see right here. You need to galvanize three of them in an order. You can use process of elimination. The first one is always dry. I'm pretty sure that's how it's been for everyone. I haven't seen anything else, but the first one is always dry. And as you can see, we had undermines for the second one. And the last one, I'm pretty sure, is bones. But as you can see, we got a nuke, so I just waited here for a couple of seconds for the nuke to die down. And I'll I'll tell you why where I'm just standing here, because... In this next step, you need to have trains of zombies to keep this magical orb alive that you get from knifing or galvanicling these signs that are in this mine shaft. And see, I'm just going to wait and try to get a couple zombies so I can train in this room. But you'll see, I can say I'm going to go right now. I'm pretty sure the last one I had was bones. I'm going to wait for the zombie to come. I almost killed myself by looking at my lovely gamer card. I can see right there, my friend has a bunch of trains at the bottom. He's running this train right there. And then the last one to get this wisp or orb, whatever you like to call it, you have to knife the last one. I'm pretty sure Bones is the last one. So what you have to do is you have to have trains of zombies to keep this magical ball alive. So... What we had was someone to run a train inside the town, someone to run a train inside the barn, and then someone to run a train outside the saloon, and then we would all connect our trains together so that we can have just one giant train of it going back and forth. And then once you do that, you need the orb to go inside the noose area where Maxis wants his evil plan to happen. And right before the orb goes in, you need to toss a time bomb Anywhere across anywhere across the map. It doesn't matter where. You just need to toss it. And then you want to go back in time just like I did. And then you want to go repeat knifing of the signs just like we did. And see, I'm just going to get a couple zombies for my train because you need to have a train because that's the only way to keep the, the orb or the wisps still alive. It, it could die down really easy. As you can see, we had, we were on round two in the beginning. We tried doing it every single round. And it didn't work up to around 11. Uh, so I'm going to go make a right, make a left, hit that last uh, sign. And then the orb's going to appear again because we went back in time just like that. As you can see, it shocks my zombies, get their energy. We jump down, we get their, his energy from his zombies. Then his whole train turns around. I run up the stairs, I run behind him, go to the barn, get his zombies. Then we run up the tunnel on bloody red. I'm on my period. We're in one shot, running up, running, running, running. Then we take this orb and see the orb's about to die out, but luckily my friend has his train down here. And then we take all of our trains together. Then we run it to the orb, just run it to the noose, I'm sorry, just like that. And once you do that, you are ready for the next step, which is pretty long if you don't do it right. This step requires communication and to, for you to keep a zombie I suggest having the the big boss guy to hold the crawler as you can see we had right before that so I'm going to show you where one person has to go one person has to go into the mansion all alone by himself make sure you have galvanicles that's what I can suggest I went in there with 13,000 and I end out with zero so as you can see right here there is a switch where you need to play this bell game and uh, there are nine bells scattered across the map. There's three in the barn, three in the candy shop, three in the courthouse. And each of them are, they have their own, like you'll see when uh, you start playing this game. This one, this bell is located on top of a chair. This bell is located by a pot where you can find some lovely soup and shit in there. And then the last one is located at the corner of this table. 
orange and bloody and shit. And then the last one is located right over here. Well, the last three is located right over here on top of the bench on a little armrest in the corner of the table for this one in the courthouse. And then the little or the witnesses or whatever the hell you like to call it stand or sit. And then right here you want to go and press the lever or the switch and you want to communicate to your team and right now the first green one in the top left corner is the first one in the candy shop and then the first no the first row is the candy shop the second row is the barn the third row is the courthouse and uh before you can even start playing this game you can tell your team to uh you can you can just have them hit bells and you can see which ones they are on this little switch bell thing or bulb thing I like to call it you can see which ones they are and once you have that you will easily just can finish it just like that so the last part is to shoot the targets and you can shoot the targets with anything you could spray the shit out of them we thought you had to shoot the targets with 100% accuracy we've been doing that for two hours we just gave up so we just grabbed some random guns and just started spraying the shit out of these put targets and I had to turn up my brightness because or lower it down I forget what I had to do but because my place was the fucking hardest one it wasn't even funny so there's targets located all across the map there's targets in the mansion outside this outside the candy shop inside the candy shop in the saloon and in the town you need to shoot every single one you cannot miss one and as you can see my targets you can't even see them in the freaking window and I didn't know half of those targets were there when I was playing this and you just want to shoot the hell out of these targets it may take a long time but I'm just saying right now you do not need a hundred percent accuracy that's what some people have saying people some people are saying this is a sharpshooter mini game or a game for the Easter egg but you do not need to get 100 percent accuracy I can see right there I was just spraying everywhere and we got the achievement just like that and I was kind of bummed out because we didn't find out anything after the achievement. We didn't hear Max's talk after. Maybe because our audio was glitched out or something, but we really don't know what happened. I hope that wasn't the end of the Easter egg. I've been hearing there's a lot of good stuff after the Easter egg. And I've also heard that uh, Activision said that they're returning the old characters into this map. And uh, apparently we did the Easter egg and we didn't get any of those old characters. Maybe there's something after this Easter egg, like in... Tower of Babel, there was something after Tower of Babel, like that laundry door or something, I don't know, but there could be something, or some way, or something after this achievement, maybe something like Tower of Babel, or maybe something linking back to Tower of Babel, we don't know how it could work, but uh, hope you guys enjoyed the guide, please leave a like, comment, and or subscribe, my name's Oni, and I'm out.